So I'm going to give you a few sentences so you can start using other and different sentences and you can say like, oh I love this one, I love that one. You can talk among each other to say, well, this works for me and it would be different than the ones I'm presenting here. That's why we work always in groups. So somebody else can say like, no, 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 that doesn't work for me. For me, this works. In that way, it's not only me telling you this is possible, but as a group, we can have like one, two, three, four, seventeen opinions, seventeen ways of seeing something, and that's we call that mastermind. And if you want to be like the biggest CEO in the world, what they do is they gather people around them, like 50, and they mastermind. So they got a problem, they don't solve it themselves. <laughs> I'm only good at one or two things, but all the other things, I call somebody who's going to help me. And that's, if you're in a team, got a problem, spill it out, somebody else will solve it for you. Why? Because they're better at something else than I am. And for them it's like, oh, that's normal. You remember yesterday when we were doing the exercises? I said to you, well, you, run, you got like a paper, is that me? Am I that? Am I that? That's your blind spots. You're very good at some things and other people are good at something else. So what you do is you use the other people to fill in your blind spots and they will do it like in two, three, four seconds where for yourself it will take maybe two days to actually notice the problem and, and try to solve it. What we're going to do today is we're going to put everything together the presentation, the loops, until the closing. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to talk to you about networking and prospecting the afternoon and I'm going to let you I'm going to, we're going to make like a plan of steps and I'm going to let you visualize it and visualizing I don't know if you know this guy his name is called Einstein no he was a famous golfer who could yeah. actually hit a birdie yeah. like turn yeah um, and what he did and this is the most powerful one. You got the pictures in, you got the sounds in, you got the movement the in, you got the tasting, and you got like, what else? The smelling. The strongest one of them all is, well, you got the logic also. The strongest one of, of them all is the vision. If you can make a picture of something in your mind, that's very powerful. And if my picture is stronger, future than yours, I will always prevail. My model is stronger. And Einstein, he made pictures of everything he saw. And he made models in his head. That's a model. I can put that in my head. I can see it. And what he did was making like mind maps in his... And when he zoomed in on a picture, another picture came up. When he zoomed out, another picture came up. If you keep on doing that, you solve all the problems in the world. He did. In 1960. That's how he did it. So if you get like very smart people, I'll start noticing their eyes. What are they doing when they're explaining me something? And how are they actually, yeah, they go up or they, they stare at me because they're like, they now know they got about more models in than a hundred about what they're talking. They're like, okay, I can listen. When you're younger, you got like these models in, your parents put them in. When you're getting older, you're still having these same models come up again. So you have to replace model by model. How do you do that? We had the glass in yesterday. That's the way to do it. Just start doing something else and the inferior model will disappear. And in the end, it will become stronger and stronger. And your head will be like double in size. Einstein had like a big head. I'm sorry I'm telling you this on the third day, not on the first day. So actually you didn't have any saying in that, but that's okay. 
So, before we start, I'm going to explain a little bit about the looping and then you can do the presentations. What I'm going to do, I'm looking for a presentation, I'm looking for some specific things. And I'm going to explain it so afterwards you can redo a little bit the presentation. Is that okay? I'm not going to go like, well, this isn't good and that isn't good. I'm just going to, like, what I want to see is that you can actually paint me a picture of a future that's so good that Dr. will go like, wow. Wow, if I work together with Vigan, if I work together with you, wow, this is actually... Yeah, Miriam? No, 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 no. We never hope. And once you got that picture in, and you see the eyes going from, and the smile comes up, then you start talking about blue arms. Then you put them down here. And you will keep them down in that emotion while you're like actually boxing them in. And then it's very concrete. And going concrete, concrete, concrete. And you can only let them out when it says, yes, I want the future and the past is behind me. So let's work together. That's what you want. Um, I want to ask you, Emily, we had like two weeks ago a session. So I, re I rehearsed a little bit. I do that sometimes. No. No. no, no, I don't. You told me that last week you had to do a presentation somewhere. Uh, Monday. Monday. Monday? You were working how long on that? What happened? Can you explain a little bit? What was different? What was different when you actually did the presentation? And what was different in the way just by using this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a project um, in Prague, in a Seven, a university uh, near Mathematic Ward. And they have been thinking about working um, in a closed system um, and reducing their infection rates by different steps for about two and a half years now. Um, at the beginning of this year we had uh, the luck to be able to start a test and we were against EMP who has a Q-site and uh, ICU. Um, we did the testing and I was a lot there to do the testing with them and um, after the testing, so that was beginning this year somewhere, uh, came out that they stopped testing EMP and they never tested ICU. But they didn't come to using our product either. So it was not that we were out, but we weren't in either. So it was stuck for several, several months. I went back and back and back. It stayed stuck like this. And so on Monday, um, Sebastian went with me uh, to a meeting with the different nurses of the uh, practitioner group who takes care of IV management, the hygienist and the neonatologist the chief of the world. And um, I told Sebastian before we went in that this time I was going to come out and tell them, no, no, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do step one, step two, step three, and we're going to start with this. And so I did the presentation, explaining, okay, now we're at this point, you did this and this and this, but now we have to start by this, that's easy, you can do that. It will be okay, you can start that tomorrow. After a month you will do that, that will be easier too, mm. because you already did the first step, so everything will be okay too. And um, after we will do step three, and that will be easy too, because step one and step two will already have been done, so everything will be okay. So I explained it to them, and um, they were discussing a little bit, and at one point the hygienist just said, but why don't we just do what that girl is telling us to do? And they were like, oh, okay. And so in the evening they... Maybe you Step one. Yeah, we, we see the other piece of the syndrome. We didn't see it. Oh. The order of the... The ask of offer. Of, 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 the offer. They order with the certified. It's okay. Oh, the step no. one. The step one is the step one. The step one is the... the, the <laughs> And we start. But it's already a really good step. Well, yeah. they, they finally <laughs> are moving some. some you said something about 
um, you were using different tonalities. Yeah. Yeah. And what happened to the people who were watching you? Did well, you notice? Usually I, I talk like woohoo! And I still like, like going up, 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 and you lose people's interest because after a while they're like, yeah, can she stop jumping? <laughs> and now I was, yeah, waiting for them to listen and calmer and using um, pauses because Mama told me it's very important to let people think sometimes and uh, a different tonality. And also she told me that I had to be more, um, not saying, well, we could do this because I think it could be a good solution if you maybe would, could. I don't do that anymore. I just say, okay, that's the best solution for you. I know it, I'm going to do it. There was also a really good strategy. They were sitting on the left side of God, the professor. So when Emily says something, the professor said, That helps, yeah. Well, yesterday she told me the story. What I noticed was that when she told me the story, she said like, and all these people were looking at me with a strange face. Yeah. You ever have that? If you do a presentation that people start coming in and... <laughs> That's what you want. In the beginning I had that, I, I just like, what? What is there right now? Now I know that, okay, they're, they're just interested in me, that, that's, uh, that's what you want, the whole presentation. Sometimes they can look away and you can give, give bows and so on, but most of the time you want them to like. And when they're like that, then you suggest, just go like, well, do this, do that. That's what you want to do. And you start noticing it, and when you start noticing it after a yeah, few days. So, the more you practice, the better you will become at everything else. The name of the game is closing. That's it. I know you got some systems in, spin selling, this, that. You, you work to the solutions you work to. Here it is like, I got one thing on my mind. We're going to do this deal. I'm sure of it. And yes, we have to work out the solutions. And we'll do it. That's it. And it's that mindset, I'm going to close, that's going to help you through all stage, even if it takes you two and a half years and one minute. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. Well, I think we're done. Thank you. Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about looping and then the presentations. So first, the presentation, give me the sunlight, then keep them into the bad feeling. The only way they can come out of the bad feeling is by saying yes to you. Okay? If that's meaning say yes to the demo, that meaning say yes to actually ordering one or two sets of something, that would be it. But I'm the only one that's going, yeah! Or just a little bit about it. I'm getting there. And the only way they are, they are allowed to get out of that emotion is by following me. So look, the best thing I need to do is stay with my body, the body language has to stay the same as theirs. I'll trap you with my body language. It's pace, pace, lead. So yesterday, she told me like, your body language, well, it doesn't work, and when I say this, the doctor will go to say that, and it has like four, you said that to me, didn't you? Four objections. They said, okay, let's do the exercise. She sat down on the ground. I didn't do the exercise from here, standing up. I sat down, tonality, same tonality, and then I started talking. And she started staring at me. <laughs> In other words, there wasn't going to be any objection. She was just listening to me. And then I said, well, what do you think? Well, if you put it that way. <laughs> that was it. But I don't use the tonality I use here. I use a tonality that matches her tonality. And you go like, when I'm normally space basically, so I do her body language. And then you ask me, yeah, well, how can you notice when they're doing the same thing? Well, it's like, very easy. If you're in the same thing, 
And she's staring at me. I know she's going to do the same thing as I do. But I don't want to be like doing my arm movement so she will do that. No, I'm going to just say like, what do you think? And then she will do the same thing and say, yes, that's it. Pay space, sleep. Pay space, sleep. Even with people that's very difficult, you can match them. You go like, blah, blah. I go like, blah, blah. I don't care. They're used to that. That's the way to do it. So get the body language right, get the four first seconds right, paint the picture as clear as possible, and then get their emotion as down as possible, and keep them there. And the only way they can get them off is by actually going with me into the loops. That's it. And they're not going to tell me something about their vacation. And I'm going to gather intelligence, this means if this doctor is telling me something that's interesting, I'm going to use it. So I have to be very, very attentive to what he's saying. In the loops, what we did yesterday, and that was for practice, the first loop we only talked about the product. And the second loop, you get the stories, we talk about the stories, the product in first, then the emotion of the product, then we talk about ourselves, then about the company, and then we answer the question. It's deflect, loop it, answer the question, ask for a close. Next, ob next objection will come up. I know this. Why? I'm only doing a presentation for like four or five minutes. So they have some questions in. Next question, next question, next question. And I can go on for hours. So I need to have enough stories. The first story about myself is like a minute or two. The last story about myself is like one sentence or two. I don't have to go too far, too, too much down the road on that one. And after a while, if I'm fed up with it, and it takes me like an hour and a half, and that's me, I'll start closing directly. I'll just ask for it. I don't loop it anymore. I go like, so what, what else? And you get hard closes, and you get soft closes. Take the clothes you want. But sometimes you need to actually help people over the line. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you like a few sentences to do that. Then you will go and come do the presentation. I will give you feedback on the presentation. Then we're going to make a map with all the steps for yourself so you can visualize it. After you've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to redo the presentation. Are you going to do Two people, and we'll all be like number three, the system, watching. And I want you to close, one is playing the doctor, I want you to close the doctor down. This means opening, be like very enthusiastic about it, and lowering your voice, doing something like that. Use the tonalities and go to all the system until the doctors say, okay, I'll do it. That's what we're going to do today. Is that okay? If you do it fast, you do it easy, you do it good, we're out of here. If not so... We stay in other nights. <laughs> no, we don't have any rooms left. But I will... Can, yeah. Bad idea. Bad idea? Sleeping here. Emily, with me you won't be sleeping. Ooh, we don't <laughs> Okay? So the faster it goes, but we will be like working a little bit. Just, just like that. But once you got it down and you start practicing it, you'll see this works. Oh, and if it doesn't work in practice for you, there's something else. Okay? That's the easy one. I'm going to the second loop. I hear what you're saying, let me say this. Adding positives, removing negatives, and you'll see it, it, the smile will go like stubborn. It doesn't happen like it's boof, they're there. After the second loop, what you want to use is like the really powerful things you know people will react to. And you want to make it as concrete as possible. If you're talking about numbers, the numbers must be correct. If you're talking about the situation, 
you need your names in, you need your places in, so they actually know. It's like talking to a friend. If you're talking to a friend and they go like, oh no, how are you feeling? Oh, not so good today. Tell me. You're not telling a story out there. You're actually telling what's happening. That's what you want to do. You're just like friends. The doctor is your friend and you just want to help him. You care about him. And you want to have that care into that. Boxing in, product me, vegan, worst bad case. What you want to do here is in the loops, you have a sequence. In the beginning, when you start first looping, you start about this autonomy. The fact that you have an IV team, you don't have to use the autonomy, but if you say the IV team, responsibility will be with the most powerful person in this hospital. They'll know who you're talking about. Start with this one, go on to concentration, and later in the loops, you start talking more about the patients, how they'll smile, how they'll feel. So that's the way you do it. Start here, and then go, freedom, and then go up. That way. In the end, you want to go to the picture they got in their brains. That's this picture. You put it here. So while looping, down, looping, looping, and looping, you're going actually back to the picture here. That's what you're doing. Makes sense? I'll go a little bit further. Transition to me. Transition to vegan. Just transitions. You do it the way you want. I heard yesterday I had some beautiful transitions that weren't actually not... It wasn't this. Remember, vegan is tell your life. That's an important one. The closing. Very up. And honestly, what's worse what could happen? You, you go up, you have the tonalities in, and then you. And all I'm asking, so down, is give me 60 days. If you go like, and all I'm asking is give me 60 days. You lean in, but when you ask for, sounds fair enough? You don't lean in. When you lean in and you say, sounds fair enough, you go, oh. You want to have, give them the room. It's like, hey. That's important. If you lean in and you say, sounds fair enough, then it's like imposing. You have to give them the freedom to actually think about it. Next thing will come up. Looping again. Next loop. I have to speak to, I hear you have to speak to, and you start looping them, and in the loop, after you talked about the product again, about yourself and about Vigon, then you ask if you need to have like a uh, million, yeah, 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 but I need some more questions in. First, I have to speak to Dr. P -P -P -P. You want to know why I don't need to, first loop them in. Talk about the product, talk about yourself, talk about the and the yoga. And actually, why do you need to speak to a best doctor? But in a not, you ask the most invasive questions in a way like, just tell me. And they'll tell you actually why they need to speak to that doctor. And then you answer the question, and then you say, sounds fair enough? Up, looping again, looping again. You keep on doing that. All the way through. Here we go. Where am I going here? Third look. You see that? After I told about myself, I hear you have to speak to me. Let me do it. Uh, sell it again. Let them talk. When somebody's talking, you just listen. Then close them on the argument and ask for the scale. So if that's the argument, you have to close them on that argument. You're not going to be. be it's, and then you go, keep moving, where are we? Okay. I want to give you some words you can use in here. And you'll do it this afternoon when we we'll do the thing. Power words, offsetting language patterns. You don't, him taking control of the whole process. Because he asks question, question. That's what Zoe said. Yeah, but if I'm with a doctor, that's like question, question, question. Then you're running around. You want them to actually follow you and have their 
questions in the way you want it. Language patterns for looping and closing tonality patterns. It's always the same. Closing is always the same pattern. And you think like, we got like three days on the closing. The doctors must notice it. No, they don't. <clears throat> they don't care. They're actually doing what they're doing. Power words. In English, we call this virtually. If you go like, everybody does it. That's too much. Virtually everybody. How would that sound in French? Virtually everybody. How would it sound in, in Dutch? Practice idee. Vrijwel. Zo goed als. Try to find a word. If you want to say everybody, they know you're over it. If you say virtually in English, that's doable. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a en français? C'est quoi? Presque tout le monde. Mais il faut pas. Presque tous mes clients ont 50% les Mais grosse partie, ça c'est déjà un peu ici. La plupart, c'est. Mais dans le nous, on ne dit pas. Moi, j'utilise en néerlandais, j'utilise practice idée. Use because. 
In English, it's say like investment or cash outlay. It's not the cost of something. They will always go like the cost is. I go like it's an investment. I would be glad to. That's a nice one. This is so you can use this like with everybody all the time. I'll be glad to do that. Once you pay, I'll be glad. I'm very happy. I'll be glad. You know. If you're a client of mine, I'll be glad to do that. I'll help you, gladly. It's only... Okay. Also the language bit. This is one I really like. I'll hold your hand every step of the way. You use that sometimes? No? Yeah? Mike, you use this? I hold your hand every step of the way. Could be a different phrase, but what's the phrase? Let's walk this path together. Let's walk this way. Nice one. Okay. So you get those in. You got another one. I'll show you the ins and outs. Every day. This will be like so easy to do. I'll show you the ins and outs. There's a huge upside with little downside. This is a good one. You go. What can happen? Okay, you lost like 50 euros and then don't pay that back. But on the upside, this going into that picture again. It's incredibly easy to get started. It always is. You just have to sign here. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's a step-by-step -step procedure. It's like <laughs> you know people projects. Yeah, it's, it's, it's easy, it's this like complicated to do, but in the end, is it as complicated as running the Iron Man? Come on. Let's just the Iron Man is really, 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 And when I give training programs, I ask people to stand up, go as high as they go, and I say, I'll get you even higher. <laughs> By the time we're in day three, they've forgotten about that one, but stars, that's a nice one. You'll be a professional after this training. That's what I say. You have to mean it when you say something to me. You know, this is very easy, and there's problem, 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 problem. Yeah, but it will be very easy. You have to be congruent about it. It's a long-term relationship. Like that one? I love it. It's always a long-term relationship. It's surefire. Painted by numbers. That's what they say in English. I don't know what they say in French. In the tongue of God. In the Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Ye
vreau să spre vorba de jumbo? Nu. Once they got that smile, 
You know, we talked about referrals. That's why you want to do the referral. Okay? So when it's working, then you go like, well, we talked about referrals, and they go like, yeah, oh yeah, I want to do it. But what I do, it, and you shouldn't do it. It's like, okay, can, can we do it now? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, maybe next week when you go, no, I got all the equipment in here. I take the camera, <laughs> I get my lights out, and then they go like, oh, it's very professional. I so, say, yes, that's okay. I haven't got my lights. I got like three lights, and I put them up, and I'll take the camera, so like, and I got the recorder, so I got an audio. And then I go like, okay, uh, is it okay if I write down the referral, I send it to you, and you actually post it from your link on my LinkedIn? So I got the referral on LinkedIn, I got the referral on audio, I got the referral. That's what you want to have. So you have like tons of referrals. It works very, very well. If you do even half as well, so most people, they think like, if I, I go like, this training is so easy, I only had one person that didn't make it. Half of you are going like, well, that won't be me. <laughs> if you're not that one going like, that will be me, that's okay. <clears throat> Who went like, that would be me? I do that all the time. When people go like, well, uh, well, no, this train is it's perfect for everyone. Well, we had one seven years ago. I go like, that would be me. That, that. It's like, so, so if you do it even half as well as the rest of the people, if you even half, oh, then I'm even actually, okay? That's what you want to tell them. You'll be going to see your kids in the weekend. That's going to be easy. <laughs> They don't have any kids. <laughs> Why? Because normally they have to come in in the weekend. So you tie it in in the actual situation. I, hmm? I'm not getting rich here, but I know you're going to do really well with our program and, I'm, and you'll be giving me a ton of referrals and how my business is really going. Sounds fair enough. Are the referrals here? Once you're in, in a hospital and you ask for referrals, so like, okay, I'm not getting rich here, I have to come in too much and, and this is not making our company and anything. But when this works, actually we're going to see the other doctors in the hospital. When you get a referral from a doctor in the hospital to another doctor, you know how strong that is, don't you? And these doctors, you know each other. Not only in this hospital, but in the other hospital and the other hospital. If you ask me, like, Emily, you told me that there was one... Uh, the sales representative was doing it in the competition, doing it very, very well, and getting very rich and get tons of clients. I don't know who told me. Yeah, who told me that? I don't know. Speak a lot, you have to be more precise. Um, do you know somebody who's actually cracking it out there as a sales representative? Or how would you give me more? Ah, that's Galakin. I got it. That's Galakin. That's She's not only good in selling, but she... <laughs> Sorry, what's that? I am the intonation of the board and she's going You see the board here? I see it. Yes. 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 So we tell me about it. So we tell me about it. What is the problem? Or... No. No. Okay. Well, if you do this selling process and you want to be, stop being jealous at her, then use referrals. Use the people you got somewhere to actually get introduced to other people, get introduced to other people. It's much easier to get an appointment with a doctor if you go like, a uh, doctor told me to call you and have an appointment on Friday. When there's somebody at the desk, they go like, oh, that doctor told, okay, we'll put it in. That's how it works. You know that, don't you? Yeah. Of course you know that. If you have to make an appointment yourself, it's even better if you go like, doctor, uh, you told me that you are going to give me a referral. Yeah, I also know Dr. Gillis. You say like, okay, but giving a referral doesn't mean I, 
now I can go and see Dr. Gillis. It doesn't work. Because Dr. Gillis, yeah, I'll talk to Dr. Gillis. It, it, it doesn't work. You go like, is it possible that you could call Dr. Gillis now? And you can actually say to him that I'm coming? So you want him to call Dr. Gillis and say, hi, Dr. Gillis. I got uh, Catherine. I got Catherine here. And with a very good relationship. And she told me about this and that. And I want for you to talk to her. And then you take over the phone, or then you call Dr. Gillis. What do you think Dr. Gillis will say? That's a referral. Referral is not from here you got a ticket, you can go to that and see that. That's not a referral. A referral is they pick up the phone, they call the other doctor and say that you're going to come in. When my wife was sick, she had cancer. I went uh, at a given point, she has to like. Uh, in her brain, she had like, I don't know, the slums or so on. And that was like, in the hospital, they said, like, well, we could do again some radiation on her head, but um, the costs will be too high, and she only has like to live one month, so it wouldn't be okay for them. And I went like, and they decided that in the medical committee. And I went like, oh my god, what are we going to do? So I was working at the cabinet, and my cabinet chef was really powerful. It's like second minister. The minister is like politics, cabinet chef is politics, and knows everything. And I went to him the same day, got home in the afternoon, and I went to him and said, like, this is a problem. He said, like, no big deal. So I went to his computer, made it, has a printout like that, that stash. He said, like, you'll get a call tomorrow. And I got a call, Professor Van Hoof. You told me about Professor Van Hoof. Yeah. Oncology. Oncology. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And that was the guy who actually I went to see, I got everything in there, oncology. And he told me, oh yeah, okay. The next time we went to our hospital, we got uh, the oncologist. He uh, he told, well, uh, they said he couldn't have it, but I got this letter from Professor Van Gogh, and I read it, and I think it makes sense. So the medical committee, they can screw themselves. You're going to get that surgery. That's referral. These are the people you want to be connected with. Networking. Yeah. That's referrals. And networking is what once I got, I know this guy, they thank you very much if I can do something for you. And then I get to another doctor, I introduce them to each other. That's networking. And I have, networking is not about me, it's about connecting these people. And you're in a position that is like, Superb. Because the doctors, they have to work all the time. And you can actually connect the doctors with each other. If someone is big easy and has some problems, you're the expert. You know who to call. You call another doctor and let them explain it. That's what you do all the time. And then you get your referrals. That's what they do for you. You help them to connect so they get a better view. They get their mastermind in. And you're in there because you know how to sell and you know how to connect these people. That's your part of the job. You're the connector. That's why you make millions. Once you start doing that, they all want to be your friend. It's the capacity to mobilize your, your networking for yourself. For your it's cap. Yeah. And the only thing you have to do, one, you say, once it's working, yeah, well, it will take me a while. No, if you make like six successful connections, that's, then you'll start that this will make a huge difference for yourself. That's the connections. If you want to read about it, read about books that go like mastermind. That's what you're looking for in English. That's how you do it. You connect them. They'll make, they know what they're talking about. You don't. But you're the person that's connected to them. That's why you're a cabinet chef. 
At that level, a cabinet chef, he doesn't solve any problem. He goes like, ooh, that's a problem. Hmm. Let me think about it. Our cabinet chef, yeah, he was like very smart when he talked to him. He was like, ooh, he couldn't talk to him. Uh, yeah, but I want an answer. Let me think about it. And then he went like, I got a call from somebody. Oh, you get me the answer. That's how it works. So start having your own notebook for the rest of the of your life where you actually track people. Who's got a notebook like that? Connecting people. Susie? Somebody else? What addresses of people you can actually connect to each other you can use when you have a problem? You can rely on it. You can just call and say, like, can you solve me this problem? Who have? Yeah? You got to Look. Somebody else? I shall try to. Hmm? In my phone. Yeah. Yeah, not 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 No, but I have to. That's why LinkedIn is used for. But most people use LinkedIn just from, oh, I only get like formal connections. Let's, <laughs> let's connect. I got almost a thousand connections on LinkedIn and more than 700 people on those connections. I've been teaching them. So I know most of the people that are connections to me. And sometimes I, I need a job and I say, Oh, but I like this guy, and then it's like, I go, well, I can introduce you there. That's what you do. You help them. And maybe five years down the road, you never know. Al Capone, you ever seen a movie? You ever saw this guy that was um, an undertaker? It's like, and he just lost his business, and, and, and he come to Al Capone, and yeah, I want to be your friend, and Al Capone said, <laughs> and, like, oh. and then he put some metaphors in, I didn't even understand what he was saying. And then this guy, yeah, I really need your help. Yeah, but you were never there for me. Will you be my friend in the future? When I ask you to do something for me, will you actually do that for me? And then this guy, okay. And then a few years later, his son got killed and he, the undertaker comes back and he has to swing. <laughs> Payback time. But payback time is not, now I want you to do something to come. No, no, I want you to do what you're good at. And I know we're not out proponing here, we're not the mouth, we're just vegan. Well, I don't know about that, but I only know like the Belgium. But that's what you want. You want to have your own connections with people you can, that's what you're doing. So the referral thing, in the looping, very much important. Closing pattern, if you even do half as well, that's a powerful one. And all I ask is give me one shot. This is like before closing, that's like the beginning. First loop or second loop, you can do that. Just give me one shot. The only problem you'll have is I didn't call you six months ago and get you started then. That's a powerful one. Believe me, you will not be sorry. I love this one. You will not be sorry. It's me saying to you, you won't be sorry. Like, I'm the expert. I, I'm telling you, this works. I'm, I'm telling you, this is, it works. You will not be sorry. If you use it, you will not be sorry that you used it. But you have to do it in a certainty, like, and don't point at people. Most people don't like that. But sometimes I do. Believe me, you'll be very, very impressed. You're going to be very, very impressed. Sounds fair enough? That's what we want. Can you stop with it? Only if you made a lot, ton of money, I'll ask you for referrals. Made a ton of money or something else. I don't know what you can ask to a doctor. If you pick easy, if you made a ton of money, what, what would be similar to a doctor that's using now the pick easy? It's not making a ton of I don't think no, I'm sure you're really gonna like this if you like it. Do you wanna be in reference house or do you wanna be in No, it's about like a ton of money. Something like 
If you're in, if your infections drop with 50%, yeah. yeah, that's the one you want. That's a good one. If you, that's something like that. You got another one like that? Infections drop. If your patients stop walking out of here. This profession has improved people's lives, so they're improving much more lives. Yeah, but it has to be like a ton of money. 50% down. If you start improving lives, that's. So you have to do a step further. I don't know.
uh, the cost down and we're going to save you time. So it's very weak, it's very out there and then I go like, what do you think about it? And they go like, well, I have to think it over. And then I go like, do you really need, I did that with Miriam yesterday, how did I feel? She was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it was overdone. So I went, like, and, 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 and she went like, okay. Yeah. I go, okay, I got an okay. <laughs> so. I'll fool you every time. As far as my companies go, because I pride myself in doing this, this, and this. What we can do for you besides one transaction, here are your cross selling. It's not only this, we can also do other stuff for you. What the worst that could happen as a minimizer, so keep looping them. Looping them, we can start off small, but we can work bigger and better in the future. So, okay? Please don't misconstrue my enthusiasm for pressure. If I'm really putting it on and they're feeling pressure, what I do is before they actually say it, I go like, look, I'm very enthusiastic. Don't, don't take it as a pressure. What I'm saying is like, I'm putting a lot of pressure on you, but I want you. Don't blame. Don't blame me for it, and uh, even that's a good thing. So, I love this one. I'm just enthusiastic. Don't, don't. No, I'm not. I'm putting on pressure. The real estate is location, location, location. In my business, it's time and time and time. I don't know which one. You can use it for Big Easy. Um, what's their business? What would be? Would it be timing or would it be something else? I don't know. It's timing. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The real estate location, location, location. With doctors, in my business, it's about barbecue, 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 or seminar, seminar, seminar. I, I don't use something that. Makes sense to them. Looking back, I understand what you're saying, but let me say this. Never always deflect. Getting started is very simple. It's just a question of some basic information. It always is. It's an investment of only, do not use costs. That's it. Common excuses, you got yours, I got mine. Common excuses, we can't afford it. Uh, you said in, in the fees that there was a hospital that actually they can't afford it. That's actually a true one. So you don't want to push them then. You go like, oh, thank you and good luck. But for all the other hospitals, if they say we can't afford it, they're lying, okay? They're a hospital. They can't afford losing many more patients to infections and that, that's what they can't afford. There's been a death in my family, somebody had that one in? Yeah? Never had a doctor going like, well, the appointment is like uh, this and that, and well, uh, it's a delay because uh, I had some personal problems and it's... Yes. Grandma is dead. Pregnant, studying, and... Yeah. 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 I know of, of somebody who was like... Loves playing golf, and his daughter got married, and so they, they flew in. Over, they were like rich people who flew in somewhere, and it was a golf course. So in the afternoon, he just went going to put another. If it's very interesting to you, whatever happens, you'll be there. Okay? So this is an excuse. All personal problems, everything that comes in, you get a professional life. You need to do as a doctor because they use excuses. If it's a real deal, that's different. But if they're using it as an excuse, most people, when they're very interested, they'll try even when it's like very bad, but they try anyway. Okay? That, that's an important one. I need to check with the budget holder. Somebody got that one? They don't need to check, they say yes to you and I'll check for you. We'll check together. Let's go now. Let's go now. What if 
that's the excuse and you want to go for okay, it's something else? No, 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 I need to check with my job. Come on. If, the, if you feel that it's an excuse, and you're saying, this is an excuse, call the excuse. They'll be lying. And when they're lying, they feel uncomfortable. So the next thing you're asking, they're saying yes. It's basic human logic. I'd like to buy it, it's a bad time right now. Of seniors? It's always a bad time to buy. I want to check it out first. I got training for it. The people want me to give the training first to check it out if it's a good training, and then I come into the company and give the training. Yeah. So this quiz you. Well, I'm not sure if your training is good. Well, I'm not sure if this is good. And uh, we want. So they got like. In hospital, you got like this procedure, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. And every person that gets in the procedure needs to do the 27 checks. And in the end, they all checked it out, and now they got too much information. So they can't decide because then it's too much. So they try to close it. I've been burned before. Of course we've been burned before. But have you been burned by asking me? No. That's what it's all about. I'm your film designer. My boss will kill you. That's another one. I want to see it first. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. The minute you bought it, you can see it. I I need to do more research. That is doctor's research. He's not a doctor anymore. I need to think it over. If somebody needs to think it over. They don't need, that's not convincing. Okay? We can do the thinking together. I'll help you with your thinking. <laughs> that's much easier for us. Yeah, or start thinking of it together. Okay? Listen to their stories. If they tell you about the hobby, like Chris told me about his hobby, I'll listen to the story. I always love the hobbies, and I always would love to do it. <laughs> No, I'm not. Oh, yeah. It's only yeah. my. Someday, yeah? Someday. Yeah. Someday. I would love to try it someday. Once when I was a kid, I, I did it. I'd love to hear more about that. Maybe we can talk with Valentina. Well, we couldn't pick in, then we've got time to talk about it. <laughs> what? <laughs> we can talk about it. Listen to me, let's think about three applauses. <laughs> But I'm always, but it's, for me it's true, oh, if you get like sports and hobbies, I'm always interested in the sports and in the hobby. And if it's golf, I'm very interested right now. Because this weekend in Bayern, we got like a practice day for like 5 euros. So I go like, wow, yeah. <laughs> Normally it's like 400 euros to just get started. So, you see, if I'm interested in something, I'll give you numbers because I'm interested. I'll look it up. So if somebody starts talking about triathlon and it's one of the doctors, you'll go to the internet. You'll look up a little story about it or something you read or something and then the next time you talk about it. Before you know it, you got like, you're so interesting because you know all this stuff. Even if it's bear hunting or <laughs> somebody got some weird hobbies they heard from doctors? No? When you list Monsieur Lister with your seventeen hundred literature and ballroom dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old English literature and ballroom dancing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
c'est dit par des esprits de saint marie de, 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 de l'élevage de petits oiseaux de couleur. J'ai fait vraiment beaucoup d'intérêt. Il y a un film, 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 Well, actually, it's not a comedy movie for them, but it is for us. <laughs> so every year, if you like birds, every year there's a competition, and it's called the Grand Tour. And this competition about birds, the Grand Tour, when you got in, what you do is all these people are interested in birds, they go all over the world. When you see that bird, they click it. And the thing is that at the end of the year, The person has saw most of the birds in the world. You can like throw, uh, 500 and something species. There's, there's, uh, if you if you won the competition, yes. So the only thing they do is like in their time, they spend free up when they like the weekend. They have home. They get on a plane, go land somewhere where it's like totally crazy. Take a picture of a bird, get back on the plane, go back home, do the rest of the thing. Yeah, but they saw like 546 different kinds of birds. Wow! Who had it? Try to search it, show some interest. No. About 500. For one big can you can, can, this can you talk to me about one bird. <laughs> you can have a competition for who does the most big lines. So listen to the story, get back with yourself. That's what you want to do. <laughs> you, you got these people that always talk and they keep on talking about the story at a given point. If you do that and you try this like easily, you go like stop. Let's talk about the big line. And if they don't survive the story, you get up and say, I'm sorry, I'm out of here. If you're professional, at a given point, they don't want to talk about everything, you say thank you and you're out of there. That's professional. You don't keep, I know. Yeah, it helps. I was at a pharmacist uh, a few weeks ago and she kept talking about hockey and things like that, Breda, she lived in Breda. She went on and on and on. And the silver point is that, so you want to uh, test the sure fuser? Yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 <laughs>